The anatomy of a worm contains several distinct chambers, including the digestive tube, the pharynx, and those wiggly little bits on the end there. about being digested? No siree, there ain't no digesting going on. We're respectable folks, and just ask all the people who live down here. They're nice people, if you don't mind the smell. I can't live in here. It's moist and slimy. I absorb moist sliminess. I've got to get out of here. Oh, then you'll need this. I've been building this here flying machine all by my lonesome. Only need to get a few more bits and then she's ready to go. If you help me, I'll give you a lift out of here. What other bits do you need? Details, details. Smart little whippersnapper like you will have no trouble working it out for yourself. Go talk to the chief of the castaways. I'm sure he'll have something for you. Hi there, SpongeBob. Uh, weren't you gonna visit the village? Well, squeeze my sides and call me K. 
Captain Bindo. This is... Good thing I've got such big pockets. Is that someone in distress? Oh, it is! And he looks kind of important. Um, excuse me? Maybe if I perform a daring rescue, which is my specialty after all, he'll help me find some plane building stuff. Don't mess with SpongeBob! You have seen me, right? Thank you, young fellow. Those monsters have overrun our entire village. Your village is inside a worm? Yes. Where do you live? In a pineapple. Look, I got eaten by accident, and I'm trying to find stuff to fix a plane with. I'll help you, but first you need to help me. My subjects have been kidnapped, including my pretty, pretty wife. She's a pretty, pretty ironing board. Your wife's an ironing board? And if I rescue it, uh, her, you'll help me find plane building stuff? Ah, uh, I think so, but uh, first you'll have to get us back inside the village. I, uh, I lost my key, so you'll need to crank the drawbridge somehow. Yeah. <laughs> 
guys here for book club? Whoa, I guess not. Silly of me. I I'm kind of trapped over here. Thanks, Spongy Dude. to save you, and you are safe. I expected my hero to be taller. Ah, uh, I love wrestling folk. Nice work, yellow guy. out here.
lucky for you are not a violent person. Always return a favor. Thank you. You are here to help, right? Are you gonna rescue me? Thanks. 
little sponge. Work, yellow guy. Another bad dream. Happily, all is normal. I'm fine. I'm in a great deal of trouble. Mayhem. Starting with those infernal dwellings over there. My atomic powered eye sees their abodes perfectly. Now, Karen, anything special I should know about my transformation? Initial scans report increased size. Well, duh. Increased physical strength. Very good. And the ability to fire an attack and destruct away from your eye. Excellent. Now let's cause some mayhem.
How deliciously exciting. I shall render more destruction to the patrons of that drive-in movie theater. Ticket, please. I'm a 50-foot atomic-powered plankton! You still need a ticket. Confound you! With your ticket booth and your unbending rules, there must be a ticket around here somewhere. This smash the bikini bottom defense force to smithereens. And I was slowly laughing at me, but now I'm big and they laugh at me. Now they shall have no rallying point in their continually bothersome exploits.
Witches this time! Precipitated rampage rages right through the key bottom. Stay tuned for more awesome alliteration antics. Look it up, kids. Let's play Find the Patty. You won't get away from me this time. No, not here. I sure love smashing things up! You can't win, Patty! I'm unstoppable! No, not here! I'm in the destruction group now! You'll soon be mine, Krabby Patty! Come here, you pesky Patty! No, not here! The dirt, the grime, it reminds me of the jump bucket. You've got your eye beam thingy. Why don't you use it on those pylons?
supply. The door is powered by those power stations. Find a way to fire them up. Is the giant one eyed?
It came from Bikini Bottom. This is your pilot speaking. Prepare for extreme excitement! Surprisingly lucky, either one works. Do you want me to fly this thing? These jellyfish will play havoc with the propeller. Oh, what terrible destruction! Time to get crushed! You flying wretch, I'll get you! Destruction seems completely unstoppable. How could our heroes possibly escape? SpongeBob dives into the Bikini Bottom sewers. Will he escape Plankton? And what is that smell? The sewers! Yuck! Well, at least it's not a worm belly again. Shoot it! Jellyfish! Oh, if only I had my net. Stop me now. Hey, Sponge Fool! Why don't you just give up? There's no one left to help you. No one left at all. <laughs> it's the end of the Bikini Bottom as we know it. Easy, lad. Look, jellyfish! Down you go! I told them at the factory that this was a bad idea, but did they listen? Yeah! 
Be careful! You're not gonna ruin my plans today! I can fly! I can really fly! Me. Great! The sewers! It just gets better and better! Go over! Go low! Oh! Ah, it smells just like home. Don't you worry, old man Jenkins. I'll avoid these enormous forearms. Stopping me. You're finished, SpongeBob. With the pressure mounting to stratospheric levels, SpongeBob concocts a cunning plan. He'll lead the rampaging plankton away from Bikini Bottom, and in doing so, save the innocent people from a fate worse than... Plankton. Oh! 
The plankton situation is escalating enormously, and our heroes are forced to change their plan. They head into a construction yard to face giant plankton and the sheer unimaginable horror of the extended coffee break.